Well, whether you like it or not, it's here. We're talking about tax season. 17's Aton Wallace caught up with a local accountant today and he joins us now with what you need to know before filing your taxes this year. Big changes, Aton, right? Right indeed. The CPA I, sp I spoke with says it's very possible you could walk away with a smaller tax refund than usual this year, but that's because you are seeing more in your week-to-week -week paycheck. It's a busy time of year for accountant John Duffield. And this time of year, we'll work seven days a week. We'll all get uh, 70 hours a week, maybe as many 80 hours a week. Long hours because the April 15th deadline to file tax returns is quickly approaching. So this is the bill right here. More than a year after President Trump's Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was signed into law, you could see changes in your tax return, and Duffield wants to make sure you're aware, noting it could impact your wallet. One of the things that the federal government did is it changed the tax withholding tables back in February of last year. And so, you know, all of us that are getting, you know, getting paychecks and, and, and W-2s at the end of the year, I'm seeing that there are less federal taxes withheld from their paychecks. But one of the things that I'm seeing happen is I'm seeing today that maybe somebody's not getting the same refund that they might might have been used to historically. NBC News reports most Americans will now take the standard deduction which has doubled, but a lot of previous deductions are gone. The biggest homeowners can deduct state, local, and property taxes only up to $10,000. Moving expenses are no longer deductible except for active duty military service members, and you can no longer claim a child over 17 as a dependent. However, the $2,000 child tax credit is double what it used to be. And you can deduct medical bills if they exceed 7.5% of your income. Filing your taxes can be a pricey process, which is why local organizations like the Community Action Partnership of Kern offer tax filing services for free. Specifically, CAPK's IRS certified partner, VITA, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, offers low to moderate income people and families free tax return preparation. We don't charge. Instead of paying that, through, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars, you get that extra back in your pocket where it stays within your pocket, it stays within the county, and it produces more income within the community. But regardless where you get your taxes filed, this CPA says it's important to plan ahead. The biggest thing that I would say to to uh, uh, one of your viewers is is that is understand your tax return and so the sooner you get that tax return done now you know what the result is and then you can plan the rest of your year accordingly. If you think you qualify for the no cost tax return services provided by VITA you're encouraged to call 211 where you will be guided through step-by-step -step instructions. A Tom Wallace 17 News.